Hello and welcome. I'm Maria Ressa. This is your 6 p.m. wrap. Lawyer Estrella Elamparo asks Supreme Court Justice Marvick Leonin to inhibit from Senator Grace Post disqualification cases. Elamparo slams Leonin's interpolation of Post Counsel Tuesday, where he talked about growing up without a father. Elamparo says sharing the experience shows he lost his impartiality and is determined to champion the cause of the petitioner. Poe is questioning the cancellation of her candidacy before the Supreme Court. The Commission on Elections says she's not a natural-born Filipino and she failed to meet the 10-year residency requirement for presidential candidates. Oral arguments resume Tuesday, January 26. Should the Philippine military dismiss the possibility of an ISIS province in Mindanao? Think Tank Institute for Policy Analysis of Conflict Director Sidney Jones says downplaying the threat is a mistake. Jones says ISIS's ideological commitment is being exported from Indonesia to the Philippines. Uh, I think we could also see um, ideological uh, uh, commitment and new ideological fervor being exported from Indonesia and Malaysia to some of the groups in the Philippines that have been more opportunistic and less ide ideological to date. So I think it's a mistake to dismiss the threat as being just not there. Jones adds ISIS doesn't need to control a territory to declare a new province in Southeast Korea Asia. And, Iraq. and if local groups want to declare a, a, a new province of ISIS, so be it. So even if you don't have uh, uh, total direction and control from ISIS Central, the declaration of a province in Southeast Asia uh, is not only possible, but it's dangerous. Earlier, a video surfaced showing four groups from Mindanao united in pledging allegiance to ISIS leader Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi. It's the last of five steps before the declaration of a province or a vilayat. <laughs> The House of Representatives is set to vote on the proposed Bangsamoro Basic Law on January 27th. BBL Ad Hoc Committee Chair Rufus Rodriguez says the vote depends on whether they can gather a majority of House members. Lawmakers in the House have a poor attendance record. In 2013, only 21 out of over 280 House members had perfect attendance in all 168 sessions in the 15th Congress. But the passage of BBL might be delayed further by the reopening of the Mama Sapano hearings on January 27th. Mama Sapano incident, which killed 44 elite policemen in January 2015, sparked public outrage and caused some lawmakers to withdraw as authors of the bill. Senator Bongbong Marcos rejected the bill June last year and submitted a revision in August with 80% of the provisions amended. <laughs> The New York Knicks regains the top spot as the most valuable team in the NBA. Forbes magazine says the Knicks is back at the top at $3 billion, dislodging Los Angeles Lakers. Joining the Knicks on top five are the Los Angeles Lakers at $2.7 billion, Chicago Bulls at $2.3 billion, Boston Celtics at $2.1 billion, and the Los Angeles Clippers at $2 billion. <laughs> Boxing champ Manny Pacquiao says he still feels he beat Floyd Mayweather in their much-hyped fight last year. Mayweather won by unanimous decision in May 2015. Pacquiao's trainer, Freddie Roach, claims otherwise, saying Pacquiao wasn't at the top of his game because of a shoulder injury. CompuBox Punch says Mayweather landed 148 out of 435 punches, or 34%, while Pacquiao had 81 out of 429, or 19%. That's your 6 p.m. wrap. Watch our updates at 12 noon and at 6 p.m. I'm Maria Ressa. Remember, tomorrow begins today.